Tonight, we renew our resolve that America will never be a socialist country. <laughs> yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got myself into this situation. Well, it all started two days ago when- Well, like the annual running of the bullshit, the State of the Union is once again upon us, my friends. Sadly, due to mental illness, the part of Pelosi will be played instead by Alexandria Ocasio-Chavez. This year, dipshittedly dressed as an 80s televangelist because something, something abort them fetuses. As such, every time Trump said something perfectly innocuous like puppies are good or hot dogs are yummy, there was the Baroness of the breadline looking like she was actively shitting blood. And then the camera panned to Pelosi herself, hilariously positioned to the immediate right of the president who sported a shit-eating grin throughout. All I could think as I beheld this bullshit was, this is the face you dipfucks decided to elect speaker this year, who last year smoldered in the upper deck pursing her plasticine jowls like she was barely suppressing a lethal mustard gas fart, and this year, she's the fucking majority leader. Fuck if I'm Pelosi, I'm going for broke. Supplant the podium and fling festering balls of feculence at the Fox News camera crew. Maybe the gaggle of leering lobotomites in the voting American public will elect you president next time. Mind you, when she wasn't reading her last minute orders from Moloch or adjusting her goddamn dentures, for fuck's sake, Nancy, ever hear a fix it end and forget it? Nancy Pelosi was doing a fairly decent Nancy Pelosi impression. While Ruth Bader Ginsburg did an impression of an empty chair so convincing, Clint Eastwood held a 45 minute conversation with it. And lest you suspect Ruthie was skipping out on the event due to her long rumored terminal health issues, turns out she made her first appearance since October last night. In the back of a darkened concert hall, no one can recall speaking to the broad and the cat who claimed he saw her to begin with, yeah, he deleted his tweet and put his account on private. There's that trademark transparency we all know and love. Not to worry, though. Even if it's as bullshit as it sounds and Ginsburg's a goddamn marionette with a pulse, skipping out on the State of the Union is habitual for this broad. If, and only if, the president happens to be a Republican. She never saw a single State of the Union under Bush, and she's yet to make the trip since sleeping her way through Obama's 2015 festivities. Fuck, I'm glad the Supreme Court hasn't been politicized into an engine of partisan horseshit, aren't you? As for the content, I found this year's effort to be an uncharacteristically calculating effort from T-Rump. Aware the impending wall brawl at the end of the month will end in a virtually guaranteed goose fuck on the opposite side of the aisle, he pivoted from the napalm proselytism of the pre previous year's offering, and wax unific. The logic behind such is simple, to appear above the fray and squeeze every ounce of petty out of these preemies while rolling fucking video cameras could broadcast it into every American home in the process. And so he allowed the acid scrutiny of the white pantsuit bedecked muff mafia to roll off his flabby backside like the tears of a thousand Berkeley graduates, itemized his accomplishments, many of which, like lower unemployment for Hispanics and African Americans, were aimed at traditionally democratic voter blocks and let those same voters gape in amazement as the Pelosi posse refused to stand and fucking clap for each and every one of them. And it happened fucking repeatedly. Cancer cures? Fuck that shit! Hispanic job boom? Unless they're skimming or koi pond or frying or chimichangas, Pelosi can't be fucking fucked! Enforcing the immigration laws we already have on the books? Boo! Boo! Trump could have proposed a round-the-clock ministry of slatch manjin and sloppy blowjobs and still been met with stony-faced fucking silence from some of these slags. We added another 304,000 jobs last month alone. Almost double the number expected. And it evidently worked, with even traditionally biased CBS polls registering approvals for Trump's speech in the 70th percentile, including a jaw-dropping 72% support for his immigration proposals alone. At CB fucking S! Operative lesson here? Never underestimate the all-important planet-pulverizing power of simple optics, boys and girls. I think the peak DNC moment for me, however, was when Trump boasted of removing the Obamacare mandate, meaning this April, 
will be the very first tax season in fucking years where if you didn't enroll in Obamacare, you will not have to eat a $500 plus fucking fine. And while the vast majority of the chamber rose to applaud, Pelosi and Ocasio Chavez looked like Trump was spit roasting butt fucking basset hounds live on stage. We eliminated the very unpopular Obamacare individual mandate penalty. bitches? You're pissed I don't have to pay you money to compulsorily enroll in your shitty healthcare law? I'm pissed you chose that plastic surgeon. I'm pissed he pulled your T-zone so tight Ted Kennedy could drop an Oldsmobile in one of your pores. How about you pay my ass half a grand every goddamn year? Either way, the end of February is gonna be fucking Thunderdome. Strap the fuck in, my friends. Two men enter, one man leaves. But enough about Rachel Maddow's post-show. I'm Razor Fist. God. Please, we'll put them to sleep.